How to use a glucose monitor. For people with diabetes, monitoring blood glucose levels routinely with a glucometer is extremely important to ensure your treatment regimen is adequate. Glucose levels are constantly changing, so it is important to know what time of day to monitor. For example, testing once per day at the same time each day will only provide information about that time of day. Rotating testing times gives you and your medical providers more information about your diabetes control. Ask your provider or diabetes educator what times of day you should be testing. Your starter kit should include a small bottle of glucose control solution. This is used to test your meter and strips for errors in accuracy. To run a control test, run a normal test using the control solution as blood. The result should be within the control range listed on your bottle of strips. If it does not, call the 1-800 number on the meter for assistance. To begin, you will need a meter, a lancet, a lancing device, test strips, and a sharps container. If you don't have a sharps container, a puncture-proof bottle with a lid, like a coffee can, detergent bottle, or medicine bottle will work. Before testing, wash your hands. If soap and water are not available, you may use an alcohol swab. Make sure your finger is completely dry before testing. First, wipe the injection site with an alcohol pad. Take out a room temperature test strip. Strips are moisture sensitive, so it is important to keep the bottle closed. Each type of glucose meter will use a different strip. It is also important to know which end fits into the meter and which end will collect the blood sample. Remember, you will need to use a new test strip each test. Now, set up your lancing device. Remove the cap on the device and insert the lancet. Unscrew the needle cap and replace the device cap. It is important to change the lancet needle every 24 hours. Next, set the needle depth. This is how deep the needle will poke your finger. The higher the number, the deeper the stick. You are now ready to test. Insert the test strip into the meter. Lancing devices are spring-loaded. You may need to caulk your device before a test. Place the lancing device on the fleshy side of your finger and press the button to prick your finger. Avoid using the pad or tip of your fingers as this can be more painful. If you are unable to get a drop of blood, make sure your hands are warm. Hold your hand below your heart and squeeze from the palm of your hand down to the tip of the finger. Avoid squeezing the tip of the finger as this can cause interstitial fluids to dilute your blood sample. Next, test the tip of the test strip to the blood drop. The blood will be pulled up into the strip. Most meters will provide a result in three to 10 seconds. Once the result shows on the screen, remove the strip and dispose of it in the regular trash. The meter will time out and automatically turn off. It is important to bring your meter and glucose logs to all medical appointments so your provider can analyze your readings for trends and adjust medications as needed. If you have further questions, please contact the Muskogee Creek Nation Diabetes Education Team for assistance.